We're here with Dr. Mitchell and Kathy Gibson, and we are following up on Ken Wafu, number two, right here in New York, and got a couple questions for them. Uh, how y'all doing today? We're doing great. Doing good. Did y'all have fun today? We had a we great did. time today. Love it, love it, love it. All right, my first question is uh, for Dr. Gibson. Uh, how or who was the sign? Or how was the science of Kim Wafu introduced to you, and was it Dejounte? Well, it was two beings: the Archangel Raphael and Dejounte himself. And it was given as a gift because a lot of the people that call us are calling for those three things: help with relationships, help with money, uh, help with health. And we wanted to have something. Or I asked for something to help people with all of that at the same time. How long, have you, how long have you been using the science for yourself before you decided to introduce it to the uh, public? Probably decades that I've been using it for myself. My wife and I, the last eight to ten years, have been together. Okay. Uh, a lot of us, our eyes were open real big. Miss Kathy, the first time you were introduced to Ken Wafu before everybody else, you were the first. What was your initial reaction? Initial reaction was, I said, what are we doing, honey? <laughs> what, what, what do you have me doing? You know, I have a uh, religious background, and it was new. And uh, what, what, what kind of, this is mantra, what are we staring at? What, what are these words? What are we doing? And how is it going to help us? And so it was uh, a complete, overwhelming experience uh, to change my foundational of religious background to start to do spiritual practices. So when I started to see how they worked and how quickly they were, and the more I got involved, the more I understood that these are good practices. There's nothing dark or occult about them. Once I got out of my own way, the practices started working faster. Now when we do a ritual, it happens very quickly for us because we both believe in what we're doing mm -hmm. and we know what the results are going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, was him gaining your trust as your husband vital for your decision in uh, participating in the first place? Absolutely. Absolutely. I had to have complete trust in what he was given us to do. Because with Dr. Gibson, we have a lot of practices and a lot of things that we experience, a lot of deities work with us. So with my background, I was exposed to a lot of things very quickly. And if I didn't have complete trust and faith in people to know that these were good things that were happening, then it could have really took me to do that. So my faith in the Creator, my own personal relationship with the Creator, I knew that God wouldn't put me in a position to do things that wasn't good for me. And as we began to use these practices together, and our lives started to change, bringing in the children, finding that they were prospering as well. Then I knew that when people kept calling our office asking for help, we knew that we had things that we could help them with. Mm. So it was a, a affirmation that yes, everything that we do personally in our lives, we practice everything that we come up with first before we offer it to the public. So I know it's tried and tested and that it works before we offer it to anybody. Why only three workshops? And what prompted the decision to teach the class? And maybe you've already answered that in, you know, people call every day, but why only three workshops? Well, we're doing them in the middle of the country, we're doing them on the East Coast, and the last one we're doing is on the West Coast, and we feel that we cover the three different areas of the country. We don't have sponsors. So everything we do, we pay for it. We pay for the hotel room, we pay for the food, flights, everything. So we have to be uh, very cautious about where we do our work and how often we present it. Three, we thought was a great introduction. Is there anything more? Hey, if you can get a sponsor, we'll go for it. We'll do it. <laughs> so you are open to the idea of doing another one uh, in the future. Yes. yes. So, but this isn't like the finale. No more. No. We're open. We're well, open. We have to have a spot. Is there any astrological significance of you picking this time to do it? It's just like you put it in the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> no deeper than that. Yeah. Yeah. On the camaraderie, Mrs. Gibson, of the people who have been attending the workshop. Because there seems to be a lot of love and good intention in the air. We have noticed over the past two years that our spiritual family, our community is growing. It's growing leaps and bounds. And we find that when people come to one of our seminars, it's more like a family. It's more like a family reunion. Mm. You see your old cousins waving. Because you're sharing something very special. 
like you said, not many people get exposed to this type of information. But when you're doing it together, then you learn about yourself. You feel like you're part of something that you know, and you're being empowered with some truths that no one else is getting. Mm. So that makes the spiritual family even stronger. You'll find that people haven't seen each other since the last workshop. But when they're here, they feel like they came home. When they're in this energy, they feel like they should be in this energy. So we find that it's growing big time. Mm. And that there's more community and fellowship between the people who are coming because they're growing. Their lives are getting better. And that's why we're doing it. What are your hopes or vision for one year from today with the group of people that have attended the first two workshops? That's a good question. I would like to see everybody discover some success. I would like to see everybody practice at least the first couple of steps, maybe the first three steps. And I'd like to see them apply it to a real problems in their life. And I'd like to see those problems be addressed and get better. That would be my ultimate vision for what everybody does. Try it, try it in a few areas of your life and have those areas be resolved. Nothing will make you happy. You are a researcher extraordinaire. Is this a part of ongoing spiritual metaphysical research that hasn't been done before? Because um, these type of teachings are temple te te temple teachings. They're very private. Uh, there's been no videotaping. You don't have them for sale anywhere. Um, is it, are you watching that as well? Like some of the results that are going to come from this as far as what are you going to introduce next? Yes. We watch over what we teach for a reason. Teachings like this need to be protected. People like to take them, they like to run with them. They end up in different places, sometimes not for the best. They add to them, they put their own spin on them. They add videos, they add their own messages to them. And we don't intend for it to be like that. So our goal is to protect them and keep them as clean as possible. What are some of the advantages of attending more than one workshop? Well, he introduces new steps every time that he gives them. Like he said, he's going to give another step when we do it in Los Angeles. And we are not the same people each time we present a workshop. We have grown from the last one we did in Arkansas. This one, he doesn't present the information exactly the same at each one. So you do receive that energetic boost every time he does it because we're not the same people who are in the last one. The people who came to the first one who may not make it to the second or third one, do you think that they're fine? If they, if they practice this for the next five years with what they just got in Pine Blood. They got more than they can use in five years. If you actually <laughs> use everything that you have, mm -hmm. you're going to be full to the limit. Mm -hmm. We don't make it so that people miss out when they go from one to the other. We just make them different. We make them special for each group. But each group gets full to the limit. The Los Angeles group uh, look forward to it. Those who have not come to the first two. What can the Los Angeles group uh, look forward to? I, I know why they should be there, but what can they look forward to? They're going to see um, not only the information from the first two, uh, not all inclusive either, but they're going to receive that energy that's building up because more and more people are starting to do the practice. When more people do the practice, then that energy builds and it's more powerful for the next group when you get to it. So the information is going to have more power behind it. So they can look forward to receiving the third part of the power. And I think they're going to be blown away. And there are dozens of steps in the Kindle play. We've only given half a dozen or so. So I have to go through the steps and figure out what we're going to do for a finale that will introduce the biggest bang for the buck. And I haven't decided yet. Wow. So the, the Charlotte event is not the is, is not the grand finale or no. just it never is. There's a similarity in your hands and your posture. Do you feel that has something to do with the fact that you and Kathy are soulmates? Uh, yes. We have been around each other so much because we work together, so we're around each other 24-7. And a lot of the growth that we've experienced over the last several years, and it's been exponential growth for me personally, uh, has been because we are on the same wavelength. And when you're on the same wavelength with the person, your postures and the way that you carry yourself become very simple. 
So we've heard that before. People have told us that. You know, you guys kind of look alike. You, your hands are the same. You kind of sit the same. We, we noticed that that happened. The real reason is we've eaten a lot of the same chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real reason. <laughs> Don't eat a white meat. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. You two, you two are a power couple. What can you give out to someone watching this? Can Wafu attendee or not attendee? Because I'm big on relationships that can help them move forward in a nutshell as a power couple and having magic manifest in their relationship. In my opinion, you have to see your mate as a part of your plane. Each of us presents a plane into the world. And that plane is not unlike energy. Energy has a positive pole, it has a negative pole, and one of us carries a part of the current. Each of us carries a part of the current. And the flame comes from the work that we do together. If you've got a mate that doesn't want to work with you, that is not your mate. Hmm. The current comes from the work that you do. The flame emitted is the joy that you bring to the world. If you don't enjoy working with your mate, you've got to find somebody else. Wow. I concur. to our website www.tybro.com and look under upcoming events and you can register for any of our seminars on that particular page. You can contact our office by going to contact us and our telephone number is there. You can talk to our assistant and make appointments or just ask questions. Um, what do you have after Kim Wafu? You going to London? You, 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 what else you got going on? What's coming up in the next? Well, we're going to have events? actually a um, uh, intensive for the students of the Living Soul program. It's going to be in August at our center. Then we're going to be going to London on the, the 20 and 21st uh, in September to do the uh, continue our connecting with the gods. And, in the living soul, the body of life, and life. connecting with God, yes. in the living soul in Houston. And then the living soul in Houston. It's actually the living spiritual world in Houston. A combination of the living soul and spirit. The new facility officially open it is and open. running. It's open and running. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, any previews of any movies, or we got to wait until yeah, the day of? We're going to have a movie this month. Look under, again, uh, the Tybro Annex building on our website. The whole Start schedule is right there. What was the motivation behind that? Are you trying to identify some particular powers in the uh, followers that you have? Give us a way to have fun and play at the same time. Yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.